Hey guys, how are y'all doing today? I'm having a great day and I hope you are too. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Mora Companion. Let's go ahead and look at the knife itself. It's a very sleek looking design, I like it a lot. We're going to get started with the sheath and then we'll move on to the knife. It's a very nice sheath, it's hard plastic, uh, it's really durable, it doesn't feel like it's going to break or anything. And I like the belt loop on it, it fits most of your standard leather belts and cloth belts with D-rings. It does not fit your tactical style belts such as like your 511 belts that are really wide. I think they're two or three inches wide, I'm not sure. But this knife also has the belt loop or the button loop, I'm sorry, for suspenders. You just hook it on your suspenders and it kind of swivels, but uh, I don't have any so I can't test that to tell you if it's worth the trouble or not. The sheath itself, it's, it's the thickest point is here and like this. Uh, it can be used as a neck knife. I don't like neck knives myself, but um, it also has a pretty nice, I guess you'd call it a grip here for your thumb to take the knife out of the sheath, which is pretty good. It's got some really good retention on it. I mean, it takes some pretty good, you know, movements to get it out of there. But I don't have, I don't feel that this knife's going to fall out of the sheath and me lose it or anything. But I'm going to let you go ahead and look at the knife itself. It's a very nice knife. Now this is the stainless steel version with, um, I believe it's Sandvik 12C27 steel, if I'm not mistaken. Now it has a Scandinavian grind on it, which makes this knife very sharp. It comes sharp from the factory. This knife will retail you about $18 shipped. I got it as a gift from my best friend. Um, the knife itself comes in many different colors. I believe it's anywhere from pink to foliage green. Now this is the MG version, which is military green. Uh, so I guess you call it another name for it's olive drab, which I like the tactical style of knives and the colors and things like that. I'm more of a surplus guy myself, and I like the knife a lot. I believe this knife was made to as like a predecessor to the Clipper, you know, a newer model of the Clipper since they don't make them anymore. The knife itself is eight and a half inches long. It weighs four ounces and the thickness of the blade is 2.5 millimeters right here. Now this uh, this right here is not a 90 degree edge so it cannot strike a fire steel. But I know there's a guy on YouTube, I can't remember his name, actually ground it down and he can strike ferro rods with it now. There is, I believe it's the Bushcraft Black it comes with a 90 degree bevel and that's pretty cool but you know a few minutes on that grinder or belt grinder and that's 90 degree edge you can strike a fire steel which is pretty cool I like the knife a lot it's got a rat tail tang and it's a three quarter tang I believe it comes to about right here in the handle I'm not a hundred percent sure I don't have a magnet to test it the handle itself is a hard plastic with a molded rubber handle right here uh, it's got a lot of grip. It's very good texture. It's smooth to the hand, but it also has a lot of grip on it. Uh, oops, I have very big hands myself, and it my hand fits pretty good on this knife. You know, it's comfortable. I can choke up on it, not worry about it slipping through my hands like a lot of the other smaller knives. Um, you know, that's one thing I was worried about. So I've got pretty big hands, and I've slipped up on or slept up on a few knives. I'm not even say that, but. It's not a fun thing, and it hurts when you get cut, trust me. I like the knife itself. I've heard a lot of bad things about Moors. I've heard a lot of great things about Moors. I guess it's like a fence. You either over the fence or either it's a fence. You like it or you don't. I myself, I like the knives. For $18, I don't think you can get a better knife. I mean, come on. $18. That's a cheap price, but the quality is excellent on these knives. They come sharp and the edges last long. They have them in carbon steel and stainless steel, which this is stainless steel. And I believe this this blade is a little bit, you know, bigger than your, uh, I say, more two or something like that. I believe it's a little bit wider and it's a little bit thicker, if I'm not mistaken. But other than that, it's a really great knife. I recommend it to any beginner or any expert in bushcraft. Uh, I hope you guys really like this review. It's kind of the first review I've ever done, but uh, I hope that 
the it wasn't too boring or anything of that nature and please like comment and subscribe have a great day guys